Hi, this is Intergeo TV live from Essen. And right now, I'm really happy that he has time for us. He's the CEO and co-founder of Navis. Here is Felix Reinshagen, and we also met him, of course, last year. Hi, nice to meet you again, Felix. Denise, um, thanks for having me again. It's a pleasure. Yeah, I was curious to get to know more about your development, what you brought to Intergeo this year. Because when we met last year, you brought that wearable mapping system that Navix VLX with you that was so interesting. We produced very good pictures. I also wore it. Yes, so. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we are curious. I just uh, saw your booth. It's really crowded. You have a stage. You have a kind of arena where you do um, some presentations. So tell us what you brought this year so that people get to know Navis. Yes. So first of all, it's um, fantastic to be here in Essen, um, back at Intergeo. I think the whole industry and we for sure are really hungry um, for you know, large in-person meetings, having the whole industry here, uh, many of our customers, of our dealers, of our partners, and um, has been very busy around. And there was a lot of buzz and enthusiasm and excitement as well, you know, after the kind of hard years, you know, to kind of reconnect on a personal basis. And we are really, really happy that yeah. Intergeo is facilitating that. But it seems to me everybody is coming back. We have people from Brazil, we have people from the US, we have people from Australia. That's so cool that they are yes. coming back. It's wonderful to see. <laughs> and um, of course, you know, we are here larger than ever with mm -hmm. the biggest um, count of booths that we ever had. and. Um, we have indeed seen tons of traffic. Um, I think the whole topic of um, mobile dynamic scanning um, sparks a lot of interest um, more, more every year. And um, I think, you know, it reflects as well how we have been growing as a company. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that the first time we were on Geo many years ago, we were here with three people on a three by three booth and um, some very early stage experimental products. and. Um, now we are over 300 uh, people at Navis. Um, we just added more than 100 new employees um, in uh, 2022. And this way, we've been meeting a lot of people interested um, in the space. Like uh, we see that this kind of technology attracts a lot of the movers and shakers that want to push forward what's possible in the geospatial industry. And um, that's another important aspect, you know, yeah. meeting um, people that, that are interested in this kind of tech and, and are looking for an interesting place. Um, yeah. And, and you brought, um, I, mean, I mean, last year you showed um, the hardware that was um, yes. that wearable mapping system. And right now you also developed and invested in new software technology. Um, yes. So Navis is a very good provider for software solutions for 3D mapping and collecting data. Tell us more about that. Yeah, I think the very interesting development is that um, dynamic scanning, I think, has really arrived in the mass market. So it used to be something very exotic, um, and now it is this kind of a new standard tool for many of our customers where they can actually do most of the work with, which is a new thing. You know, it was more a niche product for very specific mm -hmm. workloads, and now it's becoming like a central element um, that's then complemented by drone scanning, by perhaps terrestrial scanning. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, this was possible not so much by hardware innovation, but by software innovation. Mm -hmm. Um, at the end, I think, um, you know, it's a lot of the profilers, the cameras um, are standard in the industry. Mm -hmm. But what really sets us apart is um, the, the innovation on the software side. Um, applying machine learning in the cloud, um, artificial intelligence is now the new term for that to just get more out of the data. Mm -hmm. Like the iPhone gets just like the most out of the lenses and, um, and camera chips just by applying very, very smart software and I think that's perhaps a new paradigm in, in laser scanning as well that more and more of the innovation is happening on the software side and for us that means both on the data processing side just getting more more out of the same raw data more accuracy more vibrant colors higher resolution but as well new data products mm -hmm. fully automated blurring of people for data sensitive applications data segmentation um, object recognition so that, I think, is where a lot of the future of the geospatial sector is um, uh, is around. And then, of course, the whole usage and distribution of the data, mm -hmm. um, where we have put our Ivion product around so that the usage of geospatial data is not only for experts. Mm -hmm. um, it is really 
like Google has made this accessible on the outer side for everyone. Every five-year-old can now perfectly use Google Maps. Yeah. We've invested a lot in making professional users um, kind of really high quality indoor data as accessible mm -hmm. and um, just as playful to some extent and, and easy to use. Yeah, and it's I kind of a metaverse. We also use such um, visualization and data. Yeah. Absolutely. And that is, of course, um, you know, among the other big trends that we are seeing, you know, one big trend um, we already talked a bit about is internationalization. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there were, of course, a few lead markets adopting dynamic scanning early. Northern Europe, the Scandinavian countries always first, US, um, Japan. Now we are seeing this really going international. Mm -hmm. And um, we added a lot of new markets and we as well see a very vibrant dealer and value-added reseller scene here at Intergeo. And um, it's as well really good to see that now everyone wants to bring this technology to their local markets as well. which. I think it's a very healthy um, sign that the technology has matured and is now so easy to adopt that it's ready, so to say, to, to go in much more markets. Absolutely, and it's great to see companies like Navis developing, growing, getting smarter, more innovative. You were innovative from the beginning on, but yeah, it's really, really cool. So, I mean, I wish you good luck, and we heard so many things. We can just invite you to visit Navis here at Intergeo. We're here until Thursday evening. And uh, yeah, of course, you can also find Navis in the web, and they are on LinkedIn, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you can find you everywhere. <laughs> yes, um, I would love to see you at our booth. And of course, you know, we are very um, active on social media. We'll be sharing a lot of the impressions and customer discussions that we're having. Um, as well, the partner discussion, that as well, one of the great things, you know, there's more, more I think, a collaborative sense in the industry, the data needs to flow. Mm -hmm. um, we've built many partnerships here with um, established players um, in the industry that are already amazing at supporting certain workflows. You mentioned the metaverse. I think this kind of data will go on a lot of the augmented reality glasses um, in the future. We just announced a partnership with Magic Leap. Um, so, yeah, that's as well, I think, a big plus here of Intergeo that you bring all the people together and that, you know, this fosters this kind of collaboration that pushes the industry forward. Thank you very much for these words. This was Felix Reinshagen from Navis here at Intergeo 2022.